Here's a review of a water pump that uh, broke on me, but anyway, it's going to give you an example of uh, what's really inside of these things. Basically, that's about it. It's a, a silicone gasket, uh, a shaft that's made out of, uh, it's not made out of metal, I don't know what it is, but uh, apparently it's something to do with this no armature type of shaft here. This is a pretty heavy piece, I guess, I don't know if it's part of the magnet or what, but as soon as you put that in there, watch, you know, it just kind of pops right in. Inside, let's see if I can get the right angle here, is just nothing. It runs on a uh, on an envelope of water and uh, it's supposed to last forever. What I think happened with this pump it's an intercooler pump uh, um, for uh, Shelby Mustangs or intercooled, mostly intercooled cars, and it's supposed to pump out more than the large Bosch that I just installed. But it failed, and uh, it c it could be because I was having some alternator problems. Maybe it was over chart, you know. Maybe there was a spike, but I, I doubt it. I just think something here with the alignment, it just wouldn't turn once. You could tell there was energy going to it, but it wouldn't turn, so it was jamming, you know, the wall of this thing was jamming together. Uh, here's another one. This is probably a cheaper version of this that had a real small uh, pipe here, and it came out to this big nipple. So it broke on on installation. I think I was tightening it or something and it just snapped. So and here's another. You know, a lot of these pumps have these types of uh threaded deals here and some have a nice large nipple here too, but here's the one I, that I just removed. This is a from a Mercedes-Benz or a Porsche. And I think they're for they they're in the engine bay on the driver's side, and I think they're for accelerating the um, hot water to the heat heater core inside the car. And I think that's that's what these are used for. Um, they're pretty reliable. If somebody wants to try one of these out, the part here that you see is when I was experimenting. I was epoxying the PCV. Uh, tube I got from a plumbing supply, a plumbing hardware section in a hardware store. And I think I threaded it on. No, I guess I didn't. This this has two nipples on it. So I epoxied it on, and the epoxy doesn't hold up that well, but it did now, probably about 15, 2,000 miles. And I put that, that shrink wrap on it. Um, I, I wouldn't definitely not do this again. I would just double up the because this is a three quarter inch and you got to bring it to whatever your pipe size is this way with the right you know like I have one and eighth inch ID hose and this is three quarter inch so I put a three quarter inch rubber hose heater hose on this and that fits in pretty tight when you put the one and an inch one and an eighth inch um, ID uh, radiator hose so it works out pretty good. Anyways, here's the terminal on these these types of pumps, which are not as good as you know the new Bosch pump, which I got in this box here. Part number for that is, uh, I guess you guys can uh, figure that out. Sorry, it's upside down, but go ahead and freeze it. Have a look at it if that's what you want to get. I would recommend that pump. And this is what the pump uh, bracket usually looks like when it's mounted inside the... Uh, I think this one came off of a... Geez, I just can't remember. Either a Porsche 944 or some you know, 190 Mercedes or something like that. So hopefully that provides some people with ideas. And maybe, uh, in this case, show you like what the pump is made of. So 
you know you're not really afraid of using one instead of a mechanical pump I I went with one because I didn't want to use an 850 water pump because it's the only thing that will rotate counterclockwise uh, PBS snail pump ro rotates clockwise and I think a 112 rotates clockwise so I've run them before and they seem to run fine but I just thought I'd run one of these this one runs either way but it you can tell I mean it's got to be uh, on this one it's got red and black but on this Bosch that I just bought it's actually uh, says plus and minus because it's got to rotate in the right direction to go through this little snail thing <laughs> 